Happy New Year, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cow Radia. Now, when we left off, we had just been defeated by an orc vassal, and we are now looking for revenge, of course. Now, I have attempted to get a rather similar army together to take De Cuba. As you can see, we already have our ladders ready to attack, but unfortunately, I don't really have enough mages to make this entirely efficient. However, I do have some dwarves and various other amounts of units. Yes, <laughs> not very good, but we'll see. Let's go. We do only have, I think, 106. Well, yeah, quite a few. And they have 236, so I am a little skeptical whether we'll be able to do this. However, you never know. We might be able to... Ouch. Yes, we might be able to... Ouch, no. <laughs> We might be able to pull this off, who knows? We'll see. Oh my goodness, look at all those effects. Oh my, okay, well, we do have some mummy priests, some dwarven fighters, adept mages, Calradian marksmen, and some Calradian lancers as well. I can only hope that we will be able to do this and successfully defend from any potential counterattacks, because you never know. We may indeed have to defend as I have been witness to a very, very large force of Saranid vassals walking around the lands and territories of the Deltasum Empire. I'm not entirely pleased about that, that is for sure. However, I am hopeful that they will not be too much of a threat for that much longer, because of course they are at war with quite a few factions at the moment, not including the Deltasum Empire itself, and we can only hope that our forces here will be able to enter the castle and... Oh no. This is where I'm going to go crowd surfing. And die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I think it's probably better that I get taken out here because even though I do have some spells to throw, I think it might be better for our mages to do just that. Because of course they are much more proficient in it than I am. And it appears that our dwarf paragons and our... Dwarf fighters and everything else here is doing an incredible job at taking them out. And we only have 14 enemies remaining. So, as you can see here, we do have some mummies as well. They are rather useful, I must admit. They do have some very nice healing skills. I think they have healing skills, not too sure on that. However, they do seem to have some very cool sound effects associated with them as well. So, all we need to do now is wait for the inevitable demise of these orc fellows here. And we can only hope that our forces will be able to take them out. Now, there is one issue with that. And that is the fact that our mages are not charging. Let's try to get them charging, shall we? There we are. Good. So they'll charge up there and hopefully get in range of these fellows in the tower and be able to take them out as best they can. Now, one thing I must mention about De Cuba itself is the fact that there are a couple of worthwhile prisoners in the prisoner hold here. One of them notably being Frudak and the remainder of our previous force. So I am hopeful that we'll be able to enter here and... Oh my. It appears that these fellows here are not doing the greatest amounts of work for us. Okay, advance. Oh no. Fall back. Can you do that? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> let's try to get our forces back there, and let's get our infantry back here. Yeah, there we are. Okay, that's going to work. And maybe our mages will now be able to pick off the remaining units. Is that the last one? No, there is one more remaining. Okay, once these guys get all the way down here, we should be able to send our mages in. Oh my, that is a little unfortunate, I must admit. Okay, charge our archers in, go! Oh no. Yes! Yes, some of them, oh no! Yes, some of them are getting up there now. Yes! Oh, and there we are, one of our dwarven paragons was able to throw his weapon and... Did you see that fellow fall off there? Look at that, Calradian Lancer was killed by Calradian Lancer because he fell off the edge and killed himself. Well, I suppose he couldn't bear to live any longer after my absolutely terrible 
survivability in that last siege. And our reward is 18 renown and 68 morale. Yes, we were having quite a few issues with morale, that is for sure. But anyway, here we have Ymira welcoming her back. Aletheria welcoming her back. Mattelt. Frudak, my old friend, he is joining us as well. So there we are. We have a huge amount of units for us to take. And I will start with the mages because that will help us out more against any potential counterattacks than anything else here. And then we'll take some more Dwarven Paragons. A Dwarf Champion? Wow, I didn't know I had one of those. And we'll have some Caradian Elite Infantry as well. And I think we will leave the rest, even though I don't really want to. I think we'll have to here. Yes, that seems to be the only way we're going to have it. And we'll take some Ravagers, why not? There we are. Okay, Male Horbok. Of course, I will not be using that because, of course, I am using a robe. I am using the Dread Robe. Very nice robe indeed it is. Okay, well, there we are. We are going to request that Decuba be awarded to us. However, that is most likely not going to be happening anytime soon. I don't believe, at least, unfortunately. Oh! And it appears that Cuba has been besieged by Emir Curious. So hopefully he will attempt it, because I would like some more XP. That would really help us out quite a bit. And, oh, it appears some of our vassals from the Delta Sim Empire are being defeated in battle. By who? I do not know. And there is our weekly budget. Oh my goodness, look at that. We are gaining 3,000 dinars every single week, which is great. The wages for our party are quite exuberant, I must admit. Look at that, 1,600? Hmm. A little bit too much for my liking. Oh, okay, here we go. We have De Cuba being besieged by Amir Lakem, and a couple of other vassals as well. Oh, there we are. Okay, so Lich King Malyron is now giving us Samara Castle. I will be accepting that. So, yes, let's just hope that we can get back there if indeed it does become under siege. I am just waiting now for these Serenid vassals to attempt an offensive capture. Oh no. Okay, before they head in here, I would like to buy some more food because we are a little bit low on that. Let's sell all of this as well. That hunter horse is actually pretty nice. Let's keep that. And sell the rest. Battered male boots? Oh, they're better than what I have. Nice. Okay. That's always nice to see when you get an upgrade without even realizing it. Good. Okay. Nearly a thousand dinars for that. Great. Okay, so... Hmm. Do we want to recruit more troops? I don't believe we do. But we will be placing some armored skeletons in here. Let's get a few more of those dwarves. Dwarf champions. Master mage. Very nice. Okay. Let's recruit some troops. Oh, okay. We can't actually recruit any more troops because this is not technically under our control yet. So, let us wait for the Saranids to make their move, I suppose. And Samara Castle has been besieged. Oh, that is not good. Oh, okay. Well, let us hope that these units decide that they want to take De Cuba rather swiftly because I have a feeling that Samara Castle is going to be taken... Very easily indeed, because as you know, I didn't really garrison it with very strong units at all, so it's probably going to get taken, however, we can probably take it back very easily as well. So, right now, all I'm trying to do is continually keep the Cuba under control, and yes, it appears that the Serenid Sultanate have been successful in their capture of Samara Castle. Very unfortunate. But not too surprising, I suppose, considering. And I'm just hoping these fellows are going to be coming in anytime soon. Well, I will be cutting away, and when they make a move, either way, I will cut back. Oh, this is very nice indeed, isn't it? Oh, wow, look at this. Wow, okay. Lich King Malyron has decided to confer to Cuba upon us. I was not expecting this whatsoever, but we will be accepting it nevertheless. Okay, now we can at least garrison this with some worthwhile units. However... I'm not entirely sure whether I want to do that just yet. I do want to do it, but of course we really don't have much choice in terms of what we want to give here. Wow. Yeah, we don't have a lot, do we? So let's recruit some Calradians. We get 10 Calradian Militia. We can place those in here, I suppose. And we can then take an action and use our necromancy skills, create some zombies. And then 
head back into the garrison and place those there too. Well, I think what we will be doing before we end this episode off here, we are going to be heading to Samara Castle and attempting to retake it as quickly as we can, although it appears that Lord Arosturg of the Delthusum Empire is attempting to take it back before we were able to get there, so a little unfortunate, I must admit. I was hoping that we could get there and do that first, and oh my, that was close. Okay, well, should we try taking these guys on? No. They have over 250 units by the looks of things. That might be a little ill-advised. I'm a little confused why they didn't try to attack us right here. Although, maybe they will? No, nope, it appears not. Hmm, very strange. The Serenids appear to be rather confused themselves, perhaps. Well, I'm pretty sure that Lord Arosturg will be able to take that Samara Castle back without any issue whatsoever. And as a result of my low morale, I think I am pretty much just going to be placing every single unit we have in my army at the moment and putting them in the garrison for now until our morale goes back to a more suitable level. I think it's because of course we were successful in taking Cuba back and retrieving our old comrades that I am a little well let's just say a little surprised at the huge army size because usually I'm not aware of that and oh my look at that it has absolutely rocketed up to 6,800 dinars per week once we had taken a Cuba so we do need to make sure that we have a suitable defense here for that it is very valuable indeed and that might be why the Serenids are so antsy to get it back and oh my wow that's a big move isn't it look at that the kingdom of Swadia have taken Halmar which is right here from the Kurgid Khanate. Well, I suppose I shouldn't really be too surprised considering they lost Uxkarl to the likes of the Rodox, by the looks of things. Hmm. Well, we do have enemy patrols spotted near Fairlin, which is very close to Dakuba indeed. Well, I think what I will be doing is ending this episode off here. And next time on Fantasy Car Radio, it will be a longer episode. I do apologize for the short duration, however. I have recorded quite a few things today, and I'm a little bit wary of my voice fading, because, of course, that is the main reason why I like to make videos. I do like to express myself with my voice, of course, and yes, I will not go into it too much, but <laughs> I think you get the gist. And I will be seeing you next time.